Hi everyone, welcome back to the world of giant hands or RC Pi. Someday I'll decide which camera angle to use, but for now, this is what we've got. Right, today, brand new, brand new, not, not even released yet, we've got a new car. A completely different kind of car, not a crawler, but a Rolalo. What's the number? I don't know. They all have funny numbers, these things. The Rolalo AK917BA roller. So this is a pre-sale, a pre-sale pre kit that I've got, or not kit, a pre-sale car, pre-sale version. What? Let's have a look in this box. A nice box, has to be said. A bit squashed on its travels from China. So this is straight from the manufacturer, from Rilalo's website. Um, and it's apparently all about speed. Now, I've not had any sort of speed car before. You know, I got the, what's it called? The Ram Raider, that's probably the fastest car I've had recently. Um, you know, my buggies for racing back in the 90s, 80s, 90s, I don't know. Um, they were pretty fast, but I would imagine this is going to be faster. So, yeah, supercar roller. Um, I decided that I wasn't going to get the one with all the electrics, the ready to run. Um, I don't know how much I'll use it. I didn't want to kind of waste that side of it. So I thought... I could just stick in something that I've already got lying around somewhere and see what sort of performance we get from that. See if I'm interested in speed runs and really fast cars, I don't know. But this is a one-tenth four-wheel drive electric roller. Let's open it up. See what's in the box right oh that i don't know whether you can make that out is an adhesive chassis protector so that's quite nice i think they threw those in as a bonus as a little extra um stickers manual a few bits and bobs not sure what's in there we'll have a look in a minute um oh this for being one of the first 250 people, I think. Look what I've got. A bit of bling. <laughs> Gold-plated spur gear on a chain. Uh, don't think I'll be wearing that. Not really me. But that's kind of cool. As a free gift for getting in there early. Right. Let's see if we can get this out. Wow, the box is not much bigger than the car. That was tricky. A nice enough, nice enough box with enough protection. Well, let's have a look at the car. It's got the film on. Should we pull the film off? Let's do it. There we go. It's a nice looking, a nice looking car. Sort of a, I don't know, a 70s, Group C racer sort of style, Le Mans kind of car. And it's obviously in the in the old Gulf colours, which I think looks rather splendid. I do like that. It's even got lights in there. It's got light buckets, which is pretty fantastic, I have to say. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice looking thing. It's got nice detail. Oh, a spare wheel. Now, that's not something you'd imagine seeing quite a bit, or not very often. Um, exhausts on there. It's all this sort of roll cage looks looks pretty cool. Tires look nice, kind of scale looking. Beautiful wheels. I've got to say, this is a very very nice looking car. So we'll come to this body. So what have we got under here? Well, it looks like a very, very nice piece of kit. Um, this is the alloy chassis version. 
Now that to me is a nice chassis. That is a bit of attention to detail, a bit of care in the design. Um, very nice to see. Uh, that central section is the alloy chassis. Then you've got these plastic side pods for your electrics and your, your battery. Um, tires are nice and scale looking. We've got this foam bumper on the front to not just protect the car, but also should protect the body from compressing into that. On board, you can see the, the metal drive shaft there. Um, it's this plastic upper deck. Um, area for your electronics there. We've got the, the battery tray on the other side. So that's straightforward swiveling strap on there. Um, front and rear diffs look like decent hefty casings. We've got um, metal shock towers front and rear. So that's quite nice. Um, metal shocks, which feel nice, little shorties. Um, quite a bit of the steering assembly is metal up front. Um, we've got the kind of braces, the brackets that mount the front end onto the chassis. Those are metal. Um, at the back, the motor mount plate, the motor plate, that's metal as well. Um, and all of this looks like it's ball raced. I believe it is. Got these working lights, which is all wired up and ready to go, ready to plug in. I've got to say, it's a very, very nice looking vehicle. And I'm really looking forward to driving it. And the body molding is nice. It's got good detail on there. Um, now with my crawlers, I'd be saying, oh, why do they have to do blacked out windows? But with this, perfectly happy with that. Um, oh, the, the, there we go. Front's also got lights ready to go. LEDs in the buckets. So that's it's just another nice extra that you don't expect. Um, I like the fact that the body pins are on these rubber tags, so you're not going to lose those. Um, some people might say, oh, we don't want body pins, but I think on something going fast, it's probably not a bad move. I like how on the body they've put these white stickers on, these roundels, ready for you to put your own number on there. So I suppose if you were racing it or just doing runs against your friends that have got the same, the same car, you can put your own numbers on. So they've given you a sticker sheet and that's got numbers on there that we can stick in those circles. Um, we've got some other smaller numbers as well. I don't, I'm not sure where those would go, but it's cool. It's nice that they're giving you those, some options. Um, oh, and some fancy silver stickers. Those are pretty cool. Grand Prix, Vector Cup, Speed Challenge, all sorts. Right, so let's have a look. We've got two books that come with it. This is the Supercar Instruction Manual. So we'll have a look in here. Um, all colour, which is nice, unusual. And all English. Wow. Water resistant vehicle with waterproof electronics. I guess that's if you get their electronics. Um, wet conditions, maintenance, charging safety, etc. Not relevant for me. Um, the things that you get with it. So normally you'd get a transmitter and receiver, a USB charging cable, a LiPo, 3300. Um, so yeah, 2S, um, badge stickers, 
so the instructions for how all your different stuff would work so if you did get the the ready to run you'd have how many channel I'm not sure I think it's just two channel got dip switches on there so that's quite interesting be interesting to see what that's for oh no six channel wow it'd be a six channel that's incredible six channel receiver anyway um yeah i'm kind of wishing i'd got the <laughs> i'd got the ready to run now but looks like very good instructions very very thorough they look very clear obviously i'm reading upside down um and you've got the option with the transmitter for either AAs or a LiPo. It's got a socket built in for a LiPo. That's really nice. Um, we've got the exploded diagram. Um, that looks like the, the front end, front gearbox and steering assembly, the chassis, the rear end with all the part numbers on. Um, shock absorber, differentials, and then a list of all the parts that you can get. So, I mean, I've got to say, this manual is for a ready to run vehicle and all your problem solving. For a ready to run vehicle, this has got to be as good as any manual that I have seen. That is excellent, excellent quality, well done Rilalo. And we've also got, coming in the box, um, Supercar Speed Challenge in 2023. So what they're trying to do is encourage people to get out and try out this car, feedback to them, get them on social media, and find out what sorts of speeds people are getting up to. Um, it's got hop-up parts in there as well, and the other Malalo buggies and truggies, monster trucks, and one twelfth RC desert truck coming soon. Interesting. So another little addendum. But I think the question now is, what am I? going to put in this to make it go fast am I gonna just try things or I'm gonna am I gonna speak to my speed run friends that run their bigger stuff I don't know I think I might just have a go see what I can come up with also in the box we've got um, some tools and some double-sided pads for sticking your electronics down fairly standard. Um, we've got two different sizes of spur gear. There is one already in the car, um, so two extras there, so you can tune it a bit more. Um, these seem to be uh, seals for the differentials, for the differential housings, um, or spares, I presume, it's already got those in. We've also got a 40 tooth pinion gear which is in there which again is quite nice for a roller to have given you that you know you wouldn't necessarily expect that if you're providing your own motor you usually have to provide your own spur, um, pinion gear so that's nice um, and then there's another pinion gear in here I don't know what size this is um, can't see but Again, that's nice that we've got two options. We've got a servo horn in there. And so this is your um, servo holder. So you've got your mounts there for your servo. That then mounts onto the chassis and that side plate. And then you've got a deck on top for your receiver to stick onto. If you want to see how I get on with this, what sort of speed I can get it to, I've no idea. Watch this space. Subscribe if you haven't, please. It would help me a lot. 
Um, click on that bell so you can see when we've got new videos out and we'll be with you as soon as we can to show you what this thing is capable of. I'll try not to break it. So see you soon on RC Pi. Keep driving, keep having fun. Thanks for watching.